This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Jack Pocket, the presenting sponsor of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Feeling lucky? Well, get ready to try your luck with Jack Pocket, America's number one lottery app. With Jack Pocket, you can order Powerball and Mega Million tickets right on your phone. They even have official state lottery games. Every day, there are millions up for grabs right here on your phone. Uh, you just whip out your phone. Oh, whip, whip. Right there, lottery is in your hand. Oh, whip, whip. It's right there in your hand. This is Jack Pocket. This is not number two. It's not number three. It's number one. So new customers can get a free lottery ticket by using code Gilly. Whip it out right now. Whip out Jack Pocket right now. Oh, whip, whip. Throw Gilly in there. Get your free lottery ticket. Might turn into thousands. Might turn into 100000 Might turn into $100. Might turn into some M&Ms. You don't know, but you know you get a free ticket when you whip out that, that phone, download that app, Jack Pocket, and what you got to do, oh, whip, whip, throw Gilly up in there, G-I-L-L-I-E, get that free ticket, all right? That's code Gilly for a free Powerball or Mega Millions ticket. And all I'm saying is if you win, break, break bread with a player, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That free ticket got me to Mega Millions. Where Gilly at? Ah! No, I'm just playing, but make sure you do that. Download, use code Gilly, get your free ticket. Don't wait. Download Jack Pocket now for your chance to win big. Yes, sir. Me and Oz worth a game. Right. You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Listen, uh -huh. it this, was that listen, it's very important, man. Big X the plug. I'm talking about this, this, is, the official, this is the official plug of what's going on. And I'm going to say something to you. Yeah, Newsflash. Newsflash. A lot of y'all is in trouble because of okay. Big X. A lot of y'all. The plug? Yeah, anywhere about between like 28 million streams a week. Hold up, hold up. Let me take it back. What makes it worse about this? He's independent. He's on United Masters. That's what makes it worse. A lot of you dudes got people all in the background. You, you know how they go in that back room and some of them labels and push that button. Whew. They be pushing them buttons. Fake button. There's not no buttons. There is this no is buttons. real. This is real people. This is real engagement. Really people. They on the prison yard streaming it. They in Bolivia. They here. They streaming this everywhere. Big X is Yugoslavia, that guy. Yugoslavia, mother yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They playing it everywhere. I'm talking about they just like, it's just all over the place. This is real, man. You better tap in. If you don't know what's going on, the album coming out this week, mm. you better tap in. Listen, mm. and if you don't tap in, you better take care. You better go somewhere else mm. and figure this shit out. But you want mm. to take care, baby. But mm. this shit is real. Now, X, I'm going to get right to it, man. Now. I remember we was at Jackson State, we chopping it up. You said, man, I was I was playing football, man. I was I was doing my thing. This shit just how did yeah. this, how did how did this First of all, hopefully you know, I see some of his highlights. He was a bootleg offensive lineman. Oh, I he wasn't that. You would have I'd have got right around. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> man, he got up on like that. Eight sacks in one game on that. You got around it, you think? He knew he was nigga. rapping. He was with some listen, nigga. He knew he wasn't going to the that's league. Nigga, but you seen the nigga. footage? I seen the footage. He yeah. have seen the right footage. Nah, he he seen the footage. That's because he caught one corner back. You know he gonna do like he was grab right here, throw you. Uh, sent that shit out of bounds. He gonna do one knee. Ah. It's still in me. It's still in me. He gonna be like this. But no, you said uh, so because you know like some people got it and some people really got it. Some people this is their gift, you know, because a lot of times I think we live in a culture now where it's though we try to force. Things on us that's really not our gift. Yeah. Like, like, how did it? How did it come from the field to the booth? Like, how did it? When did you first know? Like, <clears throat> when you're doing what you're doing for so long and it's not working, you're kind of willing to try anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you got like a, a, a newborn child and you done missed the birthday, you, you got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? That's that's where I was at in life. I had to figure it out everything that I was doing. I could no longer do, or else I was gonna. Either be in a cell or dead. So I, I had to figure it out. And I just so happened to have somebody with me that was already on a rapping journey. And they was like, try it. He had been telling me to try it. Back when I was doing what I was doing in the streets, but still just like, try it, try it. I finally tried it and we, we here. Now, th th this is, you know, because cause you, you're making it sound so easy. Like, I just tried it and started spitting. It, it's, it seemed like it's more because it's like, as, as you listen to you, the way you, the way you walking, you walking the beat down. Like the way you be walking it down, the the production choice, the samples. Like yeah. where's all this shit coming from? This is like somebody that like, like grew up in a soul family or something. Like you just like, how did where did it come from? Uh, so my pops, yeah, he he, he old school R Kelly. You know, I probably shouldn't be saying that, but R Kelly, no, Isley Brothers. Be, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where pops grew up on. So whenever I was with pops and yeah, we slide in the slab, yeah, that's what's thumping on his speakers. 
when I'm with my mama, it's UGK. It's a bunch of, you know Damn, what I'm mix saying? Yeah, that, 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 that verse. His pop was yeah. real play. He had the pinky See, ring on. My pop's a little older, though. Why you come to my room for yeah, fun? Yeah. Like, no, nah, for sure. He all in the back. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. And then mama was the gangster, but that's because my pops, he, I'm, he, he almost, he older, he older. Oh. My mama, she she just now getting to that stage where she accepting the fact, you know what I'm saying? So just the way that they moved, my pops, he a country, so. You know what I'm saying? That's, they, that old school, that's what that was. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My pop, my mama, she from Houston. Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? So that trio, she was, she was yeah, that trio was in her. Yeah. And so I guess just the mixture of both, you know what I'm saying? I guess just listening to both of them growing up is what make the choice of, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what I what I listen for when I hear beats now. So if your man was like, man, just try this shit, and you like, all right, fuck it, you go in the booth. When you knew you was hot, though? When you was like, oh, shit. Like they said, I, I still don't know. I just be, I just be doing what I got to do to provide for my kids, and it just be sounding good as. Mine. It's got twenty eight million streams last week. This hey, but, but I see, still see, don't it's know. It's special. It's thirty. It's a special. Oh, 30, 30, thirty million streams. So it's special because <laughs> what makes it special is because you got rookie of the year, Billboard. Like this, shit is like it's just not like this. Shit don't happen like this. Yeah. It usually don't happen, especially when your journey is something else. Now the album, Take Care, right? What inspired it? What was the inspiration of the title? The whole uh, layout? So, yeah, I mean, y'all different though. But coming up, how many people just really checked on y'all? Like, seeing if y'all mental was okay? Nobody. Not too many people, man. And then I'm always in the penitentiary, and locked up. Exactly. His celly right? checked on him a few times. No, I don't believe it. Kissed him on his back. Don't believe that. <laughs> Bet on your back to your stomach. Yeah, that's Damn, it. Yeah, that's better it. not to kiss him. <laughs> and if I was asleep, it didn't count. If I was asleep, that don't count. Well, what well, you so mean? I, didn't, I didn't know what happened. So a could wake you up. About... <laughs> no, as long as I'm sleeping, uh, I was cool, asleep, why? I didn't know. As long as you sleep, but I, if I didn't know, I'll wake you up. Huh? I'm just saying, if I didn't know, it didn't happen. But go ahead. <laughs> but nah, I forgot what the fuck you said. <laughs> no, you talking about take care. Like, okay, yeah. so boom. So yeah, um, like I said, it's just. And then in this, I've been doing this about three years now, and it's rare that anybody, other than these people, but they with me every day, mm -hmm. so they seeing it firsthand. So it's like, it's kind of hard to ask somebody, how you doing when you know you're not doing okay, because you just watched what happened, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to say, oh, it's gonna be okay, when you know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So, but other than them, not many people have just checked and seen, other than my granny. My granny is the only person, the whole time I've been rapping, Traveling shows, all this stuff. She the one called me checking. You taking your vitamins? Uh, you don't need to be doing that many shows. You need to calm down. She's just the one that was always. That's my comfort. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm panicking. It's getting too much. That's who I can talk to and calm me down. She gonna call me, check on me, this that, and the other. But one time she called me and like that. That was just a voicemail. That that that's on the song. The first song on the album. Mm -hmm. That's just that's the type of stuff she do. You know what I'm saying? Check on you. Take take care. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. And so I just really locked in on that because like I said, I'm telling my story. Everything that I rap about is something is what I'm doing at that time. That's that's me now. Mm -hmm. When I my first project, that was me then. This is me now. Right now, I'm fighting. I'm in an industry that I never thought I would be in and it happened quick. Everybody feel like I got more than what I got. Everybody feel like I'm supposed to help them. Everybody feel like I got they spot, so now they trying to do whatever to tear me down. I come from a whole different type of, you know what I'm saying? So my name, my character, is it's everything, you know what I'm saying? It's everything, and, and now I'm in a situation where people are t poking at my character, and because I'm who I am, I can't do nothing. I can't, I gotta mm -hmm. let it happen. So it's just a bunch of stuff like that. Like I said, I'm fighting. Every day I get up, I fight. Why? Because my kids. If I didn't have no kids, I'd have been crashed. I'd have been crashed. How many I, kids you got? I got two. I got a seven month old and I got a little boy from the be six. Congratulations, man. For sure, I appreciate you. So, just them, you know what I'm saying? That's what <clears throat> keep me going. Like I said, I, I'd, have been, I'd have been crashed. But, yeah, so that's where, that, that's where the whole take care situation even come from. Just my granny and then that, and that call just kind of solidified everything. I think Take Care was one of the first songs I made. I mean, there's some songs on this kind of old, but take care as far as all the songs I was making for this album, that was one of the first ones. And I just pinpointed that and went from there. It That's seemed cool. like, it seemed like Hold this. Let me elaborate on what he said. It's funny that you said how many people call you and ask you how you doing and shit like that. You know, I stopped doing that shit. I stopped calling and asking them how they doing if I don't really want to know. Yeah. Because 
to make their problems your problems. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm calling, what's up, man? How you been? Uh, I'm four months late on my rent, but I wasn't talking about like that, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, so deep. now I don't even ask deep. that no more, man. No, for sure. I don't want no nigga making their problems my problems. But it's problems. like if you even uh, try to make your problem their problem, at least see how they doing first. No, don't ask you how they doing, because automatically assume you got money, you good. Yeah, you That's what you assume. Yeah, absolutely that right. rich, he good. Yep. Money don't make you good, nigga. At all. It if just anything, make your life a little bit more comfortable as far as paying bills and shit. But it's more money out here that got money that's going through it, believe it or not, than it is without money. Because yeah. that grew up without money, they used to not having no money. Exactly. They like, oh. you think that's how it's supposed to be? A nigga that grew up with money, you you take you take that money away from me, kill him stuff. Ah, I can't take it no more. Yeah. Ah. So. Yeah. They, Money be going through a lot, yeah. just just as much as money without no money. Yeah. You know, it, it just it just seemed like it's, this album is more therapy for you, for like because sure. because like and and, and 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 I'm trying to understand like coming from Dallas, coming up, you know, the way we come up, what 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 encouraged you to be so transparent? Because in this industry, everybody want to act like we just cool, we got it together, we tough, we don't feel, we don't care, we don't yeah. give a. F Life is great. Like, like, how yeah. did you like? What pushed you to be transparent in this album and like articulate your feelings and what's going on to the fans and you know the, the world? I mean, you can almost say you can ask pretty much everybody in this room from the ones who just got here, the ones who've been here. I'm the same person through and through. Mm -hmm. I don't act like I'm bigger than nobody. I, somebody wrong, I'm gonna let you know you're wrong. I'm wrong. I'm gonna apologize for me being wrong, and, and I need you to help me figure out what I can do to you know what I'm saying to be better. Like, so I just I don't know. I guess just. Like I said, me me being me through and through, like it's, I'm always gonna talk about me, I'm never gonna fake the funk. I already faked the funk enough, just having to get up and put on a smile knowing I'm going through whatever I'm going through because I have fans and I don't wanna ruin my social image. But with this music, it's like, this is it's for me to do this type of stuff. It took me a minute to realize it, to be comfortable enough with, it's a bunch of songs on this album that they had to beg me to drop. Because this, this is one of them albums where it wasn't just me recording a bunch of songs till it got right. It was something was happening, something would happen, and I'm like, all right, come on, let's let's record. So everything was, it was supposed to be talked about. Like you said, it was therapy. Emotional I, based. Exactly. I, 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 my team been trying to get me to do therapy for the longest. Mm -hmm. Do therapy. They, they dry talked me into it <laughs> because they was like, oh, for the album, we know you want to, we want you to. Had you talk to a nigga? Man, man, you could have called me, man. And that's what we. Yeah, we talking to no <laughs> white man you don't know, man. Call me, I'm gonna break exactly. that down, man. Exactly. Listen, man. You, I just I always feel like enough, you feel better in a couple <laughs> hours. You hear me? You hear me? Look, I'm just tell you something. Ain't don't nothing. Listen, don't nothing stop depression more than a dick up. Yeah, you forget you was depressed. <laughs> yeah, it's great deep. Nah, that's, you give it an hour and you remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> He don't want to do it before. Yeah, you wake up from that nap, it's, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. You get it, but it took away from it. Yeah, that 30 minutes, yeah, he yeah. thought about some whole other stuff, but yeah. You know what's crazy? This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by DraftKings. The best part of football season is checking out the post-game stats. Which wideouts scored more than two TDs? Which quarterback threw for less than 350 yards with D Lyman had two sacks or more or, but now if you think you can pick who will do what before a kickoff you gotta play pick six from DraftKings. you gotta play official daily fantasy partner of the nfl it's super simple to get started first download the DraftKings pick six app make sure you use promo code gilly then select between two and six players and choose if they're gonna have more or less of a stack like yards, touchdowns, sacks, more. Track your picks for a shot at huge cash prizes. That's all there is to do. And for the first pick, six players, check this out. New customers play $5 on your first pick set and get $50 in pick six credits. Jump in now to the new most fun way to play fantasy sports. Pick six from DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Pick Six app now and use the code Gilly. That's DraftKings Pick Six app right now. Use code Gilly. Play five dollars for your first pick set and get fifty dollars in Pick Six credits. Only on DraftKings Pick Six. The crown is yours. 
put it on. Like, you get Amazon, Breakthrough, Artist of the Year. You got the Billboard. You just you keep got, naming. Yeah, no, Billboard. You freshman. Got, freshman. You got the Freshman cover. You, 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 the conversation got to shift, and it got to shift to this. Me, I pay attention to infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So I want to give a shout out to, you know, United Man, shout out to Solid Foundation Management, because this is not regular. Yeah. So infrastructure is very important, but I believe like you got a better hand than people that's on majors. Okay. Way better hand. That, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, like way and, better and, hand. And I want to and I want to talk about it, right? And, and why do you say that? Because first of all, he owns all this. Okay. So he got the money and he owns his. He has he something to give something. to his kids, right? Mm -hmm. That. Here's a bunch of people who can't. Nobody running around acting like they got a button to hit and all that. We can make calls. Of course I can make calls. But the fact that he has a small team around him and it's not a bunch of flighty people who can get fired in two seconds. You see what's happening at the yeah, labels. Yeah. Imagine if he was at <coughs> Warner Brothers right now. They just fired 50 people. They, everybody's gone at, at Atlantic or whatever. Mm -hmm. he don't, he's not subject to yeah. that. Right? He's at a place that's growing. He's where the industry is going. Um... This guy, he was going over his stats. He started with 500 monthly listeners. He's at 30 million oh, in three it. years. He went from 500 to 30 million. Double platinum joints, platinum joints, gold joints, right? In that period of time, because he has an infrastructure and in people, his management, his team, the team at United Masters really give a fuck. So I think it's a combination of all that. I haven't seen that in years. I haven't seen that type of thing. Maybe a long time ago, small boutique labels like early Def Jam, that kind of thing, where that was that kind of, you know, small team pushing it and getting it done. But I haven't seen that since then. I'm going to say this. I give props where props is due because when I seen it, the interface, the dashboard of United Match, like the whole thing when you set it up, when you upload your music, I seen the whole thing. What makes United Masters better than TuneCore, DistroKid, and all that? Is it services? Real people. Okay. We got real people. It's okay. not just, it's tech plus people. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why we're here. Like, it's not like you just, you go to DistroKid and all these places, and there's no one to call. I already know that. <laughs> there's know. no one to call. You put up the music, and that's the end. It's a transaction. There's nobody that's going to help you get on playlists, take you to places, yeah. make phone Sinks. calls, do things for you, get syncs, push you. There's none of that. So that's the big difference, that we got tech, best-in-class technology plus human beings. But the fact that you guys know that, Oh, no, I know how special he is, though. No, how special he is. Because everybody runs around and there's a lot of flashy names that feel like they're bigger. They're not streaming. I show him somebody that's they're a legend streaming. in our culture that's, that he's bigger. I, I remember I told him this, like, I told him this because I told him this when we was in, 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 uh, in Colorado. Colorado. I was like, yo, you did. He's like, damn. Because he's just so. And it's great that he's there because he don't pay attention to you. I'm like, yo, you bigger than this. And it's, and it's, and it's wild because. It show you what grind do. And it's, I'm big on infrastructure, Steve. I really yeah. believe in infrastructure. I don't care what nobody say. If you don't have a team in place, Zero. a team that can check you, not a team that's just yes man, but a team that can say, this is what I do. You don't know nothing about this. I got this. Trust me. That you could trust. Because, uh, you know, like you said, a lot of these places, you can't, it is no number to call. You, nobody. You, you, you got a sample. Who do you, they call, take it, who do you call at Tune Corps? They take your shit. Who do you call at this? That's, they just take your shit. Yeah. They taking you, you, you like you panicking. You don't know why somebody else could take your shit down, take down order all type of shit. Yeah. And I seen people get their shit taken down from people that wasn't that didn't even have no ownership or nothing. No. So it's like, like that's why I'm just fucked up because I'm like, damn, this is real infrastructure, that, and it's real people that a real team playing the parts of getting anything done. And this is a major album that's coming out. This is a major album that's coming out independently, and you own your. Shit. One more thing. What is the difference between, what is it a price? Like, let the people know, when I come and I got my music, my music done, and I, and I go to the interface, and I go to the dot com, I mean, United Masters, what do I have to do? What is the splits? What do I get? If I'm just a regular person listening to this. Well, we have two or three tiers. So okay. you could actually pay $20. There's a uh, tier called Debut Plus. where you upload your music, it's $20. There's a $60 tier where we actually take that your music, and not only do you distribute it, but we do sync deals. We have a sync deal with the NFL. The NFL uses our music, uh, uh, NBA, uh, NBA rather, uh, uh, ESPN. Big sync deals where they got buy bulk songs from us and we pay the artists with that, right? So it's exposure plus that. No one has that. Then we have partners. He's a partner. 
where the splits are absolutely in its favor and the artist still ma maintains ownership of the masses. So because we have those tears, you may want to come in and just distribute your music to us and then like just as an artist and you use some of our services or you want to, you know, rock with us because you know that we have these sync deals or, you know, invite only, but you're big X. You're an artist who's a partner and you get full services and we have, you know, 60 people on staff to work with those types of artists as well. So because we have that, you know, an artist can come in from the bottom or the, the entry tier and then work themselves up to exclusive. Nobody else, nobody else has that. The other thing about this guy, you were talking so many great things about him. What I found is the f country artists love him. You go to, the, I mean, he, he's him. he's so big. Like, forget the the rap huge, but you go to like the. I'm, I was at uh, the Miami uh, Miami Dolphin game and Jelly Roll was there. All he kept on talking about was him. I'm like, D <laughs> he goes, yeah, we f with him. Nashville, f with him. Jelly real. Yeah, Jelly Morgan Wallen him that's what they f with this guy they don't f no none of these other rap not really kind of but they f with him they love him i want to say something because because you know what's up like when did y'all meet we met a year ago oh y'all met a year ago did you know who he was i, I knew he was the head of the united maps that's all you knew all right so listen let me give you this game back in the day steve got a book called the tanning of america Right. One thing that me and Gil always what the f didn't you read in jail. Man? I read everything. <laughs> I, I read everything. So listen, he got this book, but I already was on it because I read I'm a vicious reader. Now let me give you this game. He told them how to read in jail. He read yeah, everything. I did. So, did the, the. Shut up, man. So so what <laughs> happened is what happened is this. Let me give you this game. I got I got to explain this to you. He told them how to read. He read everything because it's very important, and I don't think people see this. Black people, we control cool. Sometimes we don't own it and we don't know how to monetize it. Yeah. So, at this time, early in the in the game, decades ago, Steve said, hold up. We wear this. We make this shit look fly. Why are they not giving us money? Why are we not partnering up with them? Yeah. And it was a phase where still, I think people didn't know what he was doing and people, some people said it was corny. They, they, was, they thought it was corny. They thought it was selling out. They didn't know what the f*** it was. They thought it was corny. So <laughs> they thought it was corny to say, McDonald's, we eat this shit. What's the name? Let's figure out to get some money together. Yeah. Nike, Reebok. Yeah. Let's get some money together. Verizon. So I think that that's what that's one thing that you got. You got infrastructure of something that's, that's different, a person that was groundbreaking. Did you, you have something to do with that? The uh, Jay-Z sneaks? Reebok. Everything. Jay-Z sneaks. G-Units. Pharrell. The ice cream joints. Everything. Absolutely. Um, Pusha T. McDonald's. Pusha T. McDonald's. So so what I'm saying is, if you ever get a chance, read that book, Tanner of America, because you can see where your business can go. Yeah. It shows you like the possibilities of business. That's now, really beautiful for you to bring that up, man. Oh, no, that's... Because you, you kind of see it play out now. I, what I wrote about in 2011, you see it all... Now, you when see I look it, at you, your little, little yachty, like, yeah. when I look at all these dudes with these brand deals, like anybody that's a manager need to read Tannen of America. Because the whole purpose of, we got to stream money, we got to show money. show tonight, man. He ain't reading that shit. I'm not just saying, he read. He know how to, he gonna read. You go audio book it. Only thing I don't like, the audio book it wasn't you on it. That, they should have... Cause I said somebody, I was like, yo, check this joint. They're like, it's not Steve on the book. I said, well, it was Kerry Washington. Yeah, but I'm, they don't, there's a different thought, way you I thought people would like that. No, it's in different jail, they didn't like that? No, I'm telling it was out in the street, I oh. said somebody to it. But what I'm gonna say is this, this is what I'm gonna say. Like, you got, managers should read that book because it's very important and it, and it breaks down how you should be with an artist. And as management, you got a good manager. Brandon, he's a good dude. This dude was, he was on me about that. Sure. He, he made it happen. Which one is manager? Right here. I have oh, two okay. managers. Well, Brent, I know, yeah, I know, I know B right there though. So he was like, like me now. This is this is the thing. It's like this episode of Me and Osworth a Game is brought to you by none other than New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, um, life ain't going your way. <laughs> Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught chill woman cheating today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming and it didn't come your way. Shot of New Amsterdam Vodka is distilled five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. Now you can drink it straight up on the rocks.
juice or soda. Or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, don't you dare walk past this New Amsterdam. You scoop it up like a fumble at the goal line. Ah, ooh, ah, ah. You run it to that counter. Boop. Get it home. Put it on ice. And it's going to be everything you like. New Amsterdam vodka. Get you some. The official vodka of Barstool Sports. N-A-V. New Amsterdam vodka. And it's just like that, right? What do you like? Like, it's like you smoking dudes. You smoking so much in a in a in an industry where a lot of people like we just me and Gil speak realistically because I think a lot of people got a people around them and they don't speak realistically, mm -hmm. and that, and that's why a lot of artists is not where they need to be at because yeah. a lot of people don't have infrastructure team and they just don't listen to nobody. Yeah. And when you get that money, it's hard. Money make you get deaf and go blind. You can't, yeah. and um. It's like you in an industry now where like, it's like you, and I'm not, it's like you. Say the name. Say the name. It's, it's like you, Rod, Future. It's like a few of y'all that's really like, yeah. that, that's really doing some shit, um, on, on, on just another level. It's more, than, it's, more than, it's more than name, but it's like everybody is in fear. Like you coming out with an album, there's no sweat. Like everybody is in fear, and we talked about this. We they told, scared to drop. We told Act, stop that dumb shit. Act. Stop doing that shit. Academic, like we told Act, like stop that shit. He like, it's funny, but it's like, no. You mean first week sales? Yeah, everybody, listen, bro. The legends, I'm talking about the greatest rappers in the history of life. They didn't do no first, because we didn't have the information. Yeah. And, like I, and like Gil said, Killer Mike did 2,900 his first week. Won a Grammy. Won man. a Grammy. The material is the material. And album's built on time. But you just like, fuck it, I'm dropping. And that's and that's everything, but you got, that you myth is going, bro. That myth, that myth needs to be eradicated. When the it was first physical week. albums, yeah, well, I mean, like, I'm, I'm when it was physical that. albums that made something, yeah. the first week sales is a fuck. These songs last forever. These songs are streaming yeah, for, for very long. It, it has nothing to do with first week sales. That's marketing talking. But if our people, if, if artists people, artists up, though. Yo, the art, not the artists are afraid to drop because they want first week sales or they want to bundle it with socks and a bunch of dumb ass mm -hmm. to make it look like a bigger number. Yo, you got to super serve your fans. That's how you go from 500 to 30 million, mm -hmm. by super serving your fans, not worried about first week numbers. We never thought about that. You market the album, you market the project, but you're not looking at first week sales in order to say, look at me, I'm number one, I beat. What the f are you talking about? It was, it was never that, because if you're thinking about back, back, it, I'm saying like when it was physical and that shit came on a different day too, it was just different because the song that you might go with, that might be your second single off yeah. the album. Yeah. Because everybody didn't just go grab your album. You drop singles in that video, and they'd be like, the album, and now you gotta stand. And they was touring for three years with one album out. Like, you drop that one, it's a little different now because people's attention span is shot, and we have an unloyal fan base out there. Whereas, though, the fa a lot of these fans don't belong to like nobody. Some people got their locked in people that's gonna buy the merch, that's gonna get the hard ticket. That's another thing. Hard ticket sales and merch is real. Don't tell me about how hot you is, you the hottest you in your city. Because I'm gonna maybe. tell you to show me, show me your Shopify. And if your Shopify ain't breakdancing with the f hard sales and you ain't got no hard ticket sales and you ain't got no email list, stop popping that sh Talk that sh to somebody that don't know, Neff. I had to, I had to get that I blacked out. He just flipped out on somebody. No, I had to, no, because these young boys yeah, be doing that, that was a little person. I didn't know who that was. No, it was a bunch of them. R.A. City. They just be tripping. I'm not, no, you're not, Neff. You're not hot. Show, show, show me how you sell a venue out. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is, back to you, it's like, all right, so tell me about how, you know, just like, that tech, because you got this, you got that Dallas, you got a whole different type of swag and just that energy and confidence. Where that shit come from, man? That just come from how I was raised. That, that confidence, my pops, one of the most confident people I know. You know what I'm saying? He's six, eight, 300 something pound, big, big. Mm -hmm. But he done always moved with that confidence, that mm -hmm. swagger, and that's just, it was just passed down. I know I'm that I just don't try to, I'm not, I'm not a better be you though. Mm -hmm. You so I'm that n but I'm not a better than you. You have the possibility to be that n you just holding yourself at a lower, you know what I'm saying, standard. You can be that n too though. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's that's just me. I see your style keep evolving. How do you how do you keep being fresh with it? Like from your first up to now, it's like you just keep getting fresh and keep evolving because a lot of times it's it's hard. You get stuck because you like this sh one, let me keep rapping about the same Tell country. the truth. You know what I mean? <laughs> How about just yeah, telling the truth? Yeah, that's, I'm just rapping about what I'm going through at that time. Like I said, if I was, if everything was giggles and everything was going great, 
I would be rapping about how everything was going great, but it's not. So I'm, that's what I'm rapping about. Now next year when I drop another album, if I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm at the highest peak of my career. All my artists is doing well. We pulling up in lamb trucks and this, yeah. that, and other, and that's what I'll be talking about. But if it's still hard and we still going through it, that's what we're gonna be talking about. I'm not finna just make something up. For you to shoot up so quick, how how do you how do you deal with entitlement from friends and family? Like how you know? Cause that's like all like this is like. It's like it's, it, it goes so quick. Yeah. How do you 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 went? Phew, how do you deal with that when people like? You remember I gave your mom that sugar back in the day? Like you owe yeah. me. I mean, I'm, I struggle. I don't. As bad as it may sound, I don't cut off my mama because she felt too entitled. You see what I'm saying? Even though that's the woman who birthed me, it's just certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? It was other stuff, but yeah, that that, that don't happen. Like I know it, what you're talking about. Man. It don't got it don't got bad. It don't too. got bad. It's, it's probably gonna keep getting bad, but I gotta, you gotta fight, you gotta go through it. It's part of it. Yeah. See, Hold you're younger than me. My, my, my tolerance is. Yeah. He's crazy. I'll block you and on, you won't hear from me for five years. Man. Yeah. You ask me some crazy. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm getting. I ain't with that shit. But yeah. you got, you got to, you got to uh, get to the point. Cause you know what's so crazy, and it's good that you, you had a strong point because it's like. That like it is do do they ever become painful because they go from uh, somebody calling you just to laugh and joke cousin to now every time they call you it's a hardship and they need something. Did that shit hurt though? Like at first it hurt, but now it's just kind of like it's the regular, it's the new. And I don't just you either accept it or you keep getting mad. You keep getting hurt every time. You learn how to say no. Uh. Oh, do you, he's, oh, still do you he's still struggling. He's still struggling. He's still passing. Yeah, I mean, it's over with sixty percent, six hundred, a hundred. You got it. With a sixty, seventy-five, what percentage of your no game is up? Because my no game uh, is at one ten. It just does, like <laughs> now. I'm the type of person. I don't I'm give the type of person that like. If you ask for something, I need to know what it's for. If you ain't, if you ain't Man, it's coming like, with no. Oh back. no, you can't see. You can't go off that. And that's got the best excuses. The baby's sick. You know what I mean? I gotta get surgery for. I gotta baby. get surgery. I'm dying. Come up with all kind of excuses. You got see, the heart like that. Yeah, I was gonna say with my heart, your baby gonna be. No, 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 no. You gotta yeah. let a mother know. Yeah. Sometimes you come in, come in, man. If God wanted you to have it, you have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I remember I was going through that. Shit. It was my cousin. My cousin, like my God brother. I didn't want you to have yeah. it. Yeah. You're gonna die. <laughs> I, I, I'm not getting paid for the surgery. <laughs> If God wanted you to live, he gonna send you the money. Yeah, you was just, you was I'm just not doing God's will. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Like, hey, if God's like, will. I mean, listen, if he wanted, we all gotta go to him when he called, right? Yeah, yeah. Come in, If man. he wanted you to have money for that surgery. It'll fall out the sky. It'll fall the f out the sky. For I feel he, he wants I you to have it, man. I ain't got it. What'd you raise? I was gonna say, I, when, I, when I was 25 and shit, I was coming up in the music business, and my cousin, he asked me to, he's like my brother. He said, yo, man, I need a, my car fixed. I got, got to an accident, you know, car. I'm like, cool, no problem. I'll take care of it. The f thing that comes through the, through the fax machine at the time was an invoice for a brand new car. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is it. Yeah. I know what this is now. Yeah. They're hitting you with the Everything gateway the concern and then throwing some extra sauce on the oh, shit. What? And that's, and, I, and that's when I, yeah, that's when I was like, it's over. I gotta say no to everybody. And it seemed like in our community, me and Gil talk about that too much. And uh, and it's and it's sad. It's like in the black community, when you win, it's your responsibility to take everybody to number one. That your family and friends, cause they looking at you like, listen, man, you won, you owe me. And it's wild, cause sometimes people go in that for years and they they look up, they they two three million in the hole. Broke. I know. You mean people I know got broke like that? And then when then they broke and they can't call on the money. They ain't they got it at all. They ain't, no, they ain't got you it. You can't call one you want broke for. They can't help. even help you make more. They're not even putting in work to help you make more. If a nigga's putting in work with you, it's different. And you going, yeah, and then you and like, okay, blah, 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 blah. Cool. You're not even putting in any work. All you want to do is come to the highlights and then hit me up for money. And then when I'm fed up, I have I can't even and and, and that what you doing with the money? You not investing in shit. You not building. Shit. You not oh, trying you, to learn. You, you just want to money up. go go to hookah lounges yeah. and shit. 
being there with big cheeks and all this. all that dumb ass. Big cheek hey. records. You know what I mean? Big cheek Who records. <laughs> Big you went or another bottle. You just was on the phone crying to your man. You fucked up. You went straight Later to the phone. You talking about bring another bottle out. What's up with you doing, baby? Yeah. Bring some more Big G records. records. The hookahs for the Come on, man. Nobody want to hear that shit, man. I ain't got nothing for you, it, man. They get crazy, man. God wanted you to have it. You have it. Now. For plenty of years, he ain't want me to have it. I ain't have it. I ain't asked you for nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got locked up with 98 pounds of weed. Nobody ain't give me shit. Man, I had to come home and live in a little ass apartment, man. Only reason he got off because it was bad weed. It was red. What the f out of here. It was that <laughs> shit. That's why the you really why did I got that off case. I exhausted that was all a great my finances. The guy skilled the nigga. Yeah, no, that was a great case. You had Reggie. They don't charge you nothing. That was like free. That's like a slap on the wrist. <laughs> bad weed. Yeah. You was mad because I wasn't talking into your pocket. You was out there doing it like that. I got $42 on my books. No, you were sending that money. That was cool. I ain't hate that much. I was hating a little bit. You was hating a little bit of your but but no like so you know one thing I the album right you play with them samples yeah. you ain't got no problem like how do y'all deal with that like how do y'all give me the game of how do y'all deal with the samples <laughs> he pay for them <laughs> no, like, no no he like huh. it's it's a listen clearance samples suck nobody likes it nobody likes doing it but the, by the way you know what not only does he use samples he chooses the right samples and he rocks some shit. a lot of people be putting samples in music. As a, don't even as a crutch, nothing. it don't even do nothing. Yeah. What you sampling it for? You're not even adding nothing. You're not. You obviously, when you listen to his music, his soul, his voice, crazy his voice. It means something. Half the time, you'd be like, "Why are we wasting our time spending this money on this sample that don't mean?" Yeah. But to answer your question, clearing samples are hard. Is and the bigger he gets, they try to lean on him. Oh, they start leaning on him. They're gonna lean on him. Damn. But do you have a, do you have a front to a sample where it's always like? Hold up, I'm sampling this, but your career wasn't really like, you was like a basement artist on this label. It really don't, and you trying to lean on me. You ever run into them joints where it don't really go? And they still try to knock you in your head? You're of like, course you gotta be like my n You know you was You know this Michael Jackson, right? Yeah. Nigga, you sampled nigga. Now that's different. Now I, I've, yeah. I've seen that before. Now, I haven't seen that with him, but I've sample seen that Mike, before. Man. Don't sample, don't do that. No, no, no. Where you sample some <laughs> yeah. and they're like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Want, and they're I like, need yeah, and they, 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 no, no, they, they, they actually, they know asking for the money, we want to own half the song. So they'll just go, yeah, they'll just, you take that much and they'll like, they want all the publishing and shit like that. Yeah, no, they go crazy. A lot of them, that's it. That's their only income stream. So they definitely gonna make you pay for it. This episode of Me and How's Worth a Game is brought to you by PFL, Professional Fighters League. The MMA event of the year, Battle of the Giants is coming up fast. Lineal heavyweight world champion Francis Nagano makes his return to the cage versus Hinan Ferreira. Women's MMA go Chris Cyborg takes on 2023 PFL champion Larissa Pacheco. Johnny Eblen goes toe to toe with Fabian Edwards with the Bellator middleweight title on the line. Don't miss the Battle of the Giants. Saturday, October 19th, 4 p.m. on ESPN Plus in the zone pay-per-view. Make sure y'all check that out. What's going down? Francis Nagano, he's back in the cage after being in the ring, doing his thing, trying his hand in boxing. Now he's back MMA, and he's here to kick some ass. So make sure y'all tune in. You know what I mean? PFL, Professional Fighters League. It gets no better than that. Right? Now, now, this is, tell me, for the, and you tell the artists, what is all the income streams of an artist? What is all the income stream? Well, if you're a writer, right, then you have publishing. Um, then there's the streaming revenue. If you're the writer and you own the master, sync revenue is fantastic. Tell them what sync revenue, because a lot of dudes don't know what it's it is. It's like you're watching a television show and you start hearing some big X in the background. You're watching an NBA game, you see big X. Whatever it is, that the revenue from that, if you own that song and you own the master, because you have to clear it, the writers, the, the writer's share of that, and the master ownership side of that is where the revenue comes from a sync. Right? It's 50% it's each. The writers and the master ownership. So if you own it, 
you could you could do really well on on sync right now and with every brand using social media sync is going crazy in fact that's what the labels are doing right now they're suing everybody like if you watch an nba game and lebron at the end of the game like let's say lebron hit the game bronny hits the game winner and faintly in the background you hear a song like from blah 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 right dua lipa some in the background the nba posts Bronny's post game interview in the background you hear the dual leap a little bit no 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 so look low like low yeah low. low lawsuit lawsuits suing all these nba teams suing nfl teams they sued verizon why didn't they just license the catalog because they be, because they charge too much money with the labels because they're up right now what they're doing is they're making sync they have these uh they have they're, they're crawling the internet trying to find anything on TikTok, any little sound that they own, and they're dropping major lawsuits on everybody now. That's what they're doing to make up for all the lost revenue that's fucked up for their business. So now what we're doing is saying, well, fuck you, we're going to take all these independent artists, and I'll do the same deals. I'll do the deal with the NBA. I'll do the deal with the NFL. I'll do the deal with ESPN and, and a bunch of brands. First of all, that's what I do anyway. Second of all, we're filling the void because these guys are just suing everybody. That's deep. So, yeah, so there's, uh, so back to your question. Then there's obviously uh, merch deals. All right, so if you do you, you merch, um, ticket publishing. sales for live performance, right? So I, th those, deals, I'd say those, are, I would say those, said yeah, I said publishing. So I'd say those are the, those are the five income streams. What about um, the brand deals? The br brand. I, th then there's brand deals, right? So then there's being who you are and getting brand deals on top of that, which is where he's about to, that, those opportunities about to come to him. Is brand deal? Let, let me ask you something. Do brand like because a lot of these dudes don't know. Yeah. Some like these brand deals be more than some people making them off the stream sometimes. What? Way Hell more. yeah. On, Way more. The brand deals are well. There's two things. The brand deals are definitely could be a lot more than you make off streams by a long shot, because a lot of times in the business. You're actually more famous than you have more than the, than the money you have, mm -hmm. and the streaming revenue is, is you can stream a lot, you do you good. A little. You you you'll do good, but you'll actually be more famous than the revenue you earn. Mm -hmm. But you could then take that fame and use that fame to go get a brand deal. But what is doing right now? I mean, you must see this. It's like they're just doing deals with anybody. Oh yeah. Right. So it don't even make sense. It just looked like some silly, goofy, dumb. And you're actually hurting your brand by taking that money. So you, it looks like money in the beginning, but really what you're doing is f yourself mm -hmm. because that you, those checks, while they are short-term good, they're long-term bad. Mm -hmm. And that's where having a great team, right? So where we start talking and the team start talking and let's say people come at X with something, at least there's a point of view like, yo, where you rolling right now? That ain't good for you to do that right now, right? right? At least he, you, he could have people who's smart enough and who's incentivized to give him the right information right. versus somebody who's only incentivized to take a percentage of a check right. and not even give a fuck who the check comes from. Right. I, I got it. I, you know what? I, this is something about X that. So you perform, and this you performed at the Houston, Texas game, right? Mm -hmm. How the. You do that, and you from Dallas. What they had to say about that? <laughs> now, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm a Texas fan. Texas thing. You Texas, but listen, you not Dallas. Man, I watch my pops. They cry. Thank God. He happy about that because he didn't be with you about Dallas, Dallas fan. Nigga. Yeah, I watch. I watch. Stop listening to that, listen to that day, man. How the fuck you get away with this shit? He's a Texans fan. That's wild. Not a Cowboys. Yeah. Nigga. But the Texas. You're songs, Eagles I mean, fans. That's why you like that. Right. I'm, I'm a Cowboys fan. fan. Oh, it's good. come on, man. Clear the couch, man. <laughs> I'm gonna beat y'all when we play. I can't wait. <laughs> that Texas song, though, man, they really did it for me, though. Yeah. That Texas song. Yeah, any sports team in Texas, SMU, TCU, they Texas. They hold you down. You said, they hold you down. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. It was crazy. Like, 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 how did it feel? Like, because you rocked that motherfucker of them in, in Colorado and just connecting with the coaches and seeing all the. You, you got the future players of the league in there and they was turned up. Like, how did yeah. that feel, man? I mean, that's a blessing. That's a blessing when the NFL players be texting me, telling me, yeah. man, you hard. The NBA, we done got invited to so many NBA games that just for me to have always wanted to be connected to sports, you know what I'm saying? No matter what I did, even when I went to school, I was like, okay, if I don't go to the NFL, 
I'd be a coach or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I just knew I always wanted to be in the. You in took the sports that serious? Yeah. Sports. Didn't know you gave up them six sacks in one game. I ain't do that. Oh, you ain't do that. Nah. <laughs> he lying. He'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll allow you. Don't worry about him. <laughs> but not just, so like, I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm, I'm still able to be able to, you know what I'm saying, tap in with those type of things. So. By the way, there's a lot of sinks for that. Uh-huh. Right, yeah. obviously, for that for yeah. that song. Let me ask you this things. question. To the, to this point today, who called you or reached out to you that f***ed you up like, oh, sh**? Because you seem like a humble dude, laid back dude, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Who reached out to you? He was like, damn. You was like, who? Oh, that was for you. K- yeah, KD hit me. Oh, this man over here answering for him and sh- and KD hit you. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, what? That was me. That touched my heart. Uh, I don't know. When Shaq called you? Yeah, when Shaq called me, that was, uh, but that was like when I was first coming up. Yeah, so that's like, what I'm talking about. Yeah, to the, to yeah. the point today, yeah, who called you when you was f- like, yeah, nah, Shaq. cause that shit motivation. Cause I, I didn't know how he got my number. Well, no, no, I DM'd him. That was in LA Chopper, I didn't yeah. know how he got my number. But Shaq, yeah, he called me. He was like, man, I just wanted you to know that it was really me, man. I miss what you got going, anything you need. That's Shaq though. Shaq always yeah. genuine love, and he mean that. Shit. Mm-hmm. He yeah. Up, huh? yeah. He was like, "It's up now, nigga." Yeah. These sure. hit me, nigga. For sure. Shaq hit me. Nigga. <laughs> I went straight to booth that night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to uh, tell me more about this uh, Take Care tour. How it's going? Man, Take Care tour, October twenty fifth. I, I said, I don't. I, I understand this. It's a lot of other rappers out there. But I ain't got nothing against them. I just don't. I'm, I'm me. I stay to myself. And these, I don't really mess with nobody else. So you ain't, you ain't never really gonna see too many features. People I have enough features with, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But as far as this tour, ain't no big, ain't no other big names on there. It's just, it's me, me and my people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we finna go rock out 32 dates. Gonna be gone two months. It's gonna get cold. We gonna be on the bus. But it's, we used to this, like we like, any recording trip we done ever did, it's never been in no big building in a booth. It's, we rent a big Airbnb and okay. we set it up in the middle of the house and we waking up every day together, you know what I'm saying? Like, well not together, but you know what I'm saying? No diddy. But like, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We, we waking, you know what I'm saying? We, well, you can't be saying that, you know, Steve been a field of parties. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he might have been to the after party. No, no, no. Don't do that. He didn't do say that. no. No. He didn't he he say no. He didn't say no. He said no. Didn't say no, 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 no I'm going to keep it all. We were, everybody was at them joints. So you went everybody, to a Diddy party? I never was there. But everybody was there. You never there. been to a Diddy party? Me and Eve, I was in jail. Never. Everybody, but everybody went at the after after party. Not me. Nigga, you. I was locked up, nigga. Out here. Well, listen, at the end of the day. He's on his own parties in prison. At the end of the day. He was the first prison party promoter. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy man. Still <laughs> <laughs> prison flyers. Party <laughs> <laughs> <Pointing> myself. <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh, prison listen, party promoter is man. crazy. Man. I gotta stop smoking. What's shit, your favorite song man. on the album, man? <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm gonna say therapy session. All right, now. I, I What's your favorite song on this album? I love the first, first changes. Change me. As soon as it come on. It's, it, where that shit start is crazy to me. Crazy. Cause y'all don't know, if y'all don't know I'm on I'm on the album. Yeah, yeah. you know, you know, I got some big you know, I'm the biggest feature you got on the album. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, yeah, no, you know what I mean? You I mean, on the album for real? Yeah. yeah, I'm on the album, cuz. I'm on anybody album, man. You know, you got let me tell you why. Let me tell you why for you for you. you for got you on now, nigga, stop hating on me, nigga. I told you, you my career bigger than yours you was, nigga. So, boy. Fuck you. Here, watch. Now, now, listen. I'm telling you right now. Now, listen. You been hating. It's two things you hating on me. So, I'm an actor now, too. He hated on me. You ain't but, no f- actor. Doug, he did a little ass role, got a sag check, and now he talking about you. You talking about, nigga, you hating on my you know, money. little check for 450. Well, I ain't got my, I ain't got it on me. I ain't got it on me. He ain't no f- actor. Nigga, got a sag check, talking about he an actor. Where my check at? It's disrespect Denzel. Yeah, like I was on shout out to you. Sir Ray had me, you know, star on one of the show rap. I got my check. I showed him he was hating him. I said, Denzel get them same checks. You don't hate on him. The Denzel be real. You should was for four fifty. No, it was for uh, like eighteen hundred. It was that was. I'm just saying he get the same check from the same people. It's a credential. But listen, now listen. You know how I'm a biggest artist to you. This how, when this tape come out, 
and I get all them f streams for my joint, that counted to me too. So you never streamed that many f joints when you was a rapper. When you was a neighborhood rapper, you never streamed that. I'm a bigger artist than you, nigga. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So like, like his streams, you a bigger artist. That's mine than too, though, right? Yeah. What are you when they talking? Don't worry about it. You can do it. No, at the end of the day, at the end of the you day, ain't gotta sleep at the end of the day, stomach. at the end you of the day, sleep <laughs> <on your mind. laughs> and, and I might pop out of one of his tours and do a joint. So that means I'm a big artist. You only you did tours at bars and shit. You was doing bar tours, what? touring bars and shit, neighborhood bars. It's ten people in the audience. You going there doing shows for drinks and shit? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> OE Moat Liquor, yeah. Let me get a uh, uh, OE 800 and a <laughs> Silver Thunder. Ten people in the crowd. This is crazy. Isn't that, man? Nigga. But listen, man. This episode of Me and I Was Worth the Game is brought to you by Body Armor Sports Water. The alkaline water that provides real hydration with electrolytes for taste. Everybody is always drinking around the office, sports drinks, the zero sugar, and even the flash IV after a long weekend. We can't get enough body armor. Sports water, in my opinion, is the best sports water. It's the best water on the market. You know what I mean? Let me show you. Oh, there's actually one right here. Because in the office, we're just totally body armor everywhere. Because we understand that we roll with winners and body armor is a winner. So head over to your local 7-Eleven and get your body armor sports water today. You hear me? Whenever you pass that 7-Eleven, make sure you scoop it up. You get some of that body armor sports water. You clinch your thirst, body armor. It's nothing better. Right. Oh, no, now, now, tell us about your crew too. Like who you got coming up under you, man. Your people, your team. Shot them out. Uh, get them they blood. You know, give them they flowers. Man, and... I got my. Basically, this is my cousin, Ro. Okay. Ro Sabo. Okay, Ro. Man, he ain't been rapping since he was nine. Hey, where Ro at? Ro over there. Oh, I lay Ro the f up. That was the one. Uh, Ro won the. Yeah. Ro won the. He wasn't the one something. talking in basketball. It for sure wasn't him. Yeah. It was, I don't know, it was Bubba. That was Bubba, yeah, yeah. that's my DJ. Oh, okay. But no, that's, that's my cousin. He, like I said, he's been rapping since nine. He really the... When his tape coming out? Bro, oh. you, when your tape coming out, bro, who be playing? Well, we, yeah, it's gonna be after tour right now. We uh, we dropping, we getting the singles dropped just so that <coughs> we go on tour. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Yeah, I'm an artist opening up. Like I said, I don't have nobody else on my tour. It's just them, <coughs> me and them. How many cities? 32. Ooh. Yeah, we gonna Ooh. be gone two months. That's what I'm talking about, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we got uh, Rosama, we got Young Hood. I don't know why his name Young Hood. Yeah. Cause he the oldest in the group. Damn, that's, that's, Nick, you know what, names don't matter no more. It's cool, they say he 28, they think he 28. All right, that's cool then. This nigga I'm here to tell you a million dollars worth of game, he is not 28, mm. he 43. And I'm telling you that right here today. 43? Don't let nobody else fool you. Yeah. But listen, so, you know, so that's, that's what that's what that's what it do to you. We you going, hey man, he trying to have your concert filled with all old you see, like, you see how he dressed though? How <laughs> you know he up that age though? Only oh, old man. dress like that. What, 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 what's wrong with his soul? That's when you try to dress like a young man. Because his hat, his hat. It's the hat, you see what I'm saying? Oh, you got it, man. Don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. Let me just cool. tell you something. Old young they all the same. You hear me? And the older ones got a little bit more money. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them got a lot less teeth. Oh, that's better. It's better for the head. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Listen, Steve, you got anything to take, any game you want to leave before you, before we get up out of here? You want to tell the people anything about this whole and services or how to do what they need to do? I think that, I think he's a lip, I think he's a living live testament of the future of the music business. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's, I think that's what it looks like. The grind, the hard work, the same values you guys talk about all the time. The way you built this show, yeah. same type of shit you went from with the fuck these talking about to the biggest podcast yeah. in the industry. Nobody, I mean, you can't, you you pivoted as an artist, man. Yeah. You came into this. Shit. He said he'd been rapping for three years, man. He put five hundred people, ten people in the bar. There's so don't you believe that? Shit. No, no, come on, come on. Come on. I'm saying you had ten people. Oh, you had 10 people in the bar. It's cool. You Listen, was doing shows. It was 10. One time I had two. So you did I, better than him. I was the f out of here. They wasn't paying me. I, I you paid had two? for that. It was, yeah. 
It was a point of time. But you wasn't doing it for me. Me and, me and, and Rose was, was at a, a hole in the wall bar, and it was like seven people in there. All right, seven and people. We performed our hearts. I'm talking, what, what we say, Rose? Big or what? We rock them out. How about gotcha. that? So that's three years ago? Yeah. Three years that, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they got yeah. 32 dates. That's major. 30 yeah. million streams. Uh, a week? But, yeah, this is what this man's got. That's major, man. So, so my only thing is, if he there's any song, words of wisdom here is like, <laughs> I love that. He, he, he getting smart. I'm trying. I'm trying. He getting smart. Look, I'm, fighting, I I'm, trying I'm trying to see. If, I'm trying to see if he learns something from his. Own he said, "If I had it, but go ahead." Yeah, I'm just saying. The only words of wisdom here, man, is like if you believe in yourself and you keep your head down and you keep doing your thing. A friend of mine said, "Stick to your knitting." You ever go to your grandmother's house and she start doing it? It's be this big, and, that shit and you come back three months later, and that whole convey, yeah. right? Because she stuck to her knitting. Stick to your knitting. If you stick to your knitting, you can go from two people performing three years later to selling out 32 shows and 30 million streams like that, weekly. You could do stuff like that if you stick to your business. Yeah. Most people, they can't stick to their business because they start chasing other right? Let's say y'all start doing this and all of a sudden it's like, well, let's, let's start running around talking about AI no. <laughs> or crypto or something. You start yeah. chasing the hot shit. Everything. And your whole you stick to your knitting, you stick to your business, man. You learn something from your grandmother, you build something over time. So that's what I'm proud about, that we've played a role and United Masters played a role in it, but I give it up to him and his team, his management, because they built a great business, you know? So that's my words of wisdom. What do you, what you want to leave him with, X? Yeah. I wish you could leave him with a little freestyle or something. No, I don't freestyle, I don't know how to freestyle. You know how to do it. Oh, you know. he, he just I'm pop. a Texas, I freestyle. You be rapping, you like rapping motherfucker. Man, you know, old Texas, we, man, hold up. That's, 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 man, that's, but you be, you be talking that shit, though. Yeah, that's, that's. We not going to downgrade it just because you from Texas. That was that back in the day, man. That's, that's how I freestyle now. You be talking that shit, though. Yeah, nah. Yeah. I just know how to tell, I know how to tell. Slim Thug and him was talking that shit. Yeah. But come on, man, that's he Texas, can't. man. He, he was can't. talking that shit. This ain't back in. Not to, uh, leave him with, I mean. As it get better, it get worse. Mm -mm. I don't know what the f that man. It's deep. That, it get deep. Some deep sh right there. It's deep as though. It get better, it get as worse. it get better, it get better, worse. Better, it get worse. Is that? Is it basically? Listen. <laughs> Sound like my marriage. As it get better, it get worse, cuz. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> Not for real. Though. He is speaking about my marriage and shit. So it get better, it get worse. <laughs> the more money you get, the more problems gonna yeah. be there. The more hands gonna be out. Yeah. As it, as it get better, it get worse. Listen, go get the album. Though. That's a hell of a title for an album, though. As it, As it get better, better it get worse. Go man. get the album, pull up, right? You get the album, pull up to the tour dates. Is mm -hmm. there any tickets left? Uh, Maybe in like... Uh, Damn. We're we, we, we in Nebraska see. this year, right? Damn. Maybe in Nebraska or something like that. Listen, well, listen, listen, the tickets left, maybe a so few in Alaska. Let me say this. If you didn't get your tickets, you know somebody in the city, you're going to get through the door, the side, then you know somebody going to hook you up this. Got to be there, nigga. But listen, they're going to have the merch, right? Sure. Get you some merch. Tap into the experience, man. This album is a great album, right? And uh, I want you to walk away with something, man. Go out there with Big X, man. Stream the album as much as possible. If you get to the show, get to the show. Buy you some merch with it. It's real. But until then, take care. And it's just like that. Right? Yeah.